GM everyone, I know you are feeling pretty confused with the video title and perhaps the thumbnail, but give me a few minutes and I'll explain everything. In this video, I'll be sharing my personal experience with one particular popular move to earn app and why I believe it is in fact a scam in the making of sorts. Not the in your face type of scam, but essentially a Ponzi scheme. Now before you click away from this video in rage, if this is your first time watching this channel, Hi, I'm Stranger Things. I make tons of videos covering crypto and NFT, so I'm really not your typical skeptic of emerging technologies. In fact, I'm all for innovation. I love the concept of move to earn because exercising is one of my hobbies and an opportunity to make money from it is just the cherry on top. So eventually, I decided to give it a try with StackN, which is an application that you can run on either the Solana or BSC blockchain, and it is taking the crypto community by storm because of how it managed to gain widespread adoption and become the move to earn leader amongst the sea of competing apps. In fact, according to the official white paper, the game aims to promote healthier lifestyles for millions of people, bring them into the Web3 world, and make a positive contribution to carbon neutrality. Sounds good, doesn't it? Players need to obtain NFT sneakers first as an entry ticket to open the move to earn play mode. They then earn reward tokens called GST by walking, jogging or running outdoors. On top of that, there are dynamics such as leveling up your sneaker to boost different attributes. There's different types of sneakers that are catered to different profiles. Whether you are a runner or a walker, there's a whole breeding mechanism and even a governance token oh, GMT. Oh wait, hold up. This sounds awfully similar to something like another NFT earning scheme that we cover on this channel. Why yes, it's Axie Infinity. Do check out the video we have already done if you'd like to know my sentiments about it and critique my analysis on hindsight. Anyway, back to step N. This was a chance to experience a pioneering concept. I genuinely wanted it to succeed and heck, even if it was going to go down the same pyramid path as XC Infinity, it would still be a meaningful learning experience and if I get out soon enough, I might still be able to profit. So that's exactly what I did. After all, I had already done my research, which I shall not go into in this video. I forked out 13 Solana and purchased a level 5 sneakers with high efficiency and resilience which were the two most important attributes for sneakers now in the app. And then I got to work leveling up my sneaker until the sweet spot of level 19 as proven by many YouTube pros and eventually working on my break even plan in essence recovering the cost of my sneakers through my token earnings. So I'll just cut over to a quick sharing of my experience. Here we go. So I just finished clocking the daily requirements for my step and app today. As you can see from the background behind me, this is the type of speed that I'll have to walk at in order to clock the requirements for my step and sneakers, which are joggers essentially, because the app is rather sensitive to the speed actually, it kind of overstates my moving speed. So even though I have to hit between 4 to 10 km per hour, which usually should be a slow jog, I actually just have to walk a bit faster than usual and I'm able to clock the steps required, the speed required rather. It's a very sustainable pace, I don't have to be running every day, just a 10 minutes walk with my one set of sneakers which has two energy is all it takes right and also it allows me to take a breather from all the desk work that I'm doing I can also listen to some podcasts so I'm not necessarily just wasting away these 10 minutes right and yep that's all I wanted to share about the step and app now back to the video during my course of leveling up eventually the Terra Luna crash happened inflation fears continued to worsen and crypto went through a pretty rough patch which got me thinking about whether the app could even endure the winter that was coming. Comparing with Axie Infinity, since both are essentially NFT applications that centralize on trading time for in-app tokens, I think part of Axie Infinity's extended longevity right, was due to the crypto bull run. But things were different now, so I decided to plan for my exit from step N way earlier than I intended. So as of the last day of May, I have listed my sneakers and hopefully we will see that this has not been a silly fart mistake by me. For some reason, I can't help feeling like Stepman is going to crumble slowly but surely, even though it has been a rather fun experience. I mean, the similarities are just too similar with Axie Infinity. Earning of token which has no utility apart from being cashed out. Purely inflationary token supposedly cushioned by a secondary governance token which actually is pretty worthless as well. So we shall see. But okay, to counter the bearishness, the bookcase for step N may still be intact and it's partly what convinced me to take the leap of faith in the first place to purchase my sneakers. Heck, I don't even spend that much on money on real life sneakers. So Step N has been a long project in planning, created by the Fine Satoshi Lab in September 2021, and the public beta was officially launched on December 20th of the same year. To encourage adoption, 
10,000 NFT running shoes were issued for free and those guys who got their shoes must have cashed out big time as sneakers started from 13 sol all the way up to 30 over Solana tokens or more when I first started browsing the application. Step N also announced the completion of a $5 million seed round led by Sequoia Capital India and Folius Ventures, Solana Ventures, Alameda Research and other institutions back in January. The founding team has connections also with the VP of Adidas and with Adidas other forays into the metaverse it's not too far-fetched that Step N will be incorporated into Adidas' future NFT metaverse roadmap as well. So the million dollar question, will Step N survive? You be the judge. Okay, stranger things from the future here. Thankfully, I managed to sell my sneakers on the day that I listed them because the very next day, the sneaker prices actually tanked by almost 50% from the price that I had them listed. So I very narrowly escaped and kept a very small profit. I cashed out every last thing from the app. So all my GMT, my GST as well as my Solana were all transferred to my Phantom Warder and then exchanged for Solana itself using the Radium application. You know how you wanted to make a video about Luna potentially crashing and then before you can make the video, Luna already crashed. This time round, I thought that I should be a bit quicker when it comes to releasing this step end video but unfortunately I was not fast enough. This crash kind of happened in a flash because Step N decided to make a decision to ban all China users from using the Step N app by a certain date and I think that caused the markets to panic a little and also Solana, one of the two primary networks for the Step N application, suffered another major outage. So the effects coupled together caused Step N sneaker prices as well as the native tokens GMT and GST to plunge quite dramatically. And Step N is basically already in massive fart mode now if you look at the discord chat okay i also realized from this article right that before step n there was a move to earn app in 2018 from china called chi pu and they advertised earning 200 yen a month on a guaranteed basis by walking 4,000 steps with your mobile phone using their software furthermore there is no ceiling and the highest monthly income that one can earn is 20,000 yuan well you know what they say right if it sounds too good to be true it likely is essentially it was pulling people in using the mlm model so new suckers are funding the old back holders and chipu candy which is their in-game currency inflated by 0.3 yuan daily and the whole thing effectively collapsed in just half a month so i guess you can say this is just history repeating itself again very unfortunately i would have loved for stepman to succeed back to the outro of the video anyway that's all for today's video so if you find this type of video sharing useful and refreshing you know how to support me on this channel i look forward to hearing more about your feedback cheers and take care, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.